everyone, it's Noah Watson here from iHollywood TV. We love this show so much that Freeform Network has brought back Marvel's Cloak and Dagger for a second season. The cast, including Olivia Holt, Andrea Roth, and many more, sat down to let viewers in on the new season, and here's what they had to say. What is all this? A lot more powers are gonna come to the surface this season. And what I really like about the powers this season is, yes, we know that Tandy, when she touches people, she can see their hopes. Tyrone, when he touches people, they can, he can see their fears. And teleportation, manifest light daggers, but so much more. And I think that's what's gonna make this season way more special. And they get to do it together too. You know, we saw a lot of first season them just doing it separately, but now they really get to go into the city of New Orleans and and fight crime like no other, but together. And, and we'll get to sort of see their powers come together as one, which sort of makes Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger. You miss it? Nah, I can practice as much as I can in here, right? No, I mean the real it. But I, I feel like they, they learn a lot about themselves, you know, just just as a, as a growing teenager, you, you learn something new about yourself every day. So I feel like, uh, it's, it's just been a huge learning experience for them, and, and Tyrone is finally out of this shelter that he's been, you know, being, being living with his parents. He's kind of having to fend for himself, um, and he just learns a lot about this world. You know, it's, it's colder than he really thought. So Bridget, we kind of pick up where we, we see her, you know, she's dealing with the aftermath of, of what happened in season one, which is... You know, obviously her boyfriend being dead in a fridge is a bit traumatic. And then um, you see her dealing with being a shooting victim, which you don't really necessarily think of because she's this highly trained detective, but that's essentially what she is. And um, she's got PTSD. She's not coping with it the best way. She's Unfortunately, she's using pills. She's having a really hard time. She's very shaky and jumpy, which, you know, makes your job as a detective extremely difficult. Last season, uh, we were left with an alcoholic and uh, very troubled Melissa Bowen. This season, we are starting off with a clean and sober Melissa Bowen, uh, who is also helping her daughter to become clean and sober. And the two of us are, are tackling our past um, difficulties, issues with um, abuse from my husband and father in um, a woman's group therapy. So this season, um, the relationship between Tandy and myself is much more loving, uh, much more sober, much more rational. Uh, we're both trying to understand the, the dark issues that, that got us to where we were last season, but we are definitely cleaning up and we are seeing each other with renewed eyes, with eyes uh, of hope and forgiveness. And um, my character is, is trying valiantly to become more motherly and uh, being the person that she once was before she got, took a very, very serious sidetrack.